when he bought this it had like probably a 35 percent tint on the windshield which i do find to be obtrusive being that dark at night it does make it difficult to see out you're obviously driving a 3.5 million dollar car you want to be able to see we had to remove the bonnet um, so we get the windshield wipers off we're going to redo the clear plex on it as well while the windshield's off that is like seriously the most fun i've ever had with my pants on right there yeah that's quite a bit of difference yeah huge difference and luckily we've got a nice sunny day today so i can actually put a black trash bag over top of this film with a little bit of soapy water and it kind of makes it to where we're not cleaning up a huge mess but i can still pull the film off without leaving a whole bunch of glue don't want to make a huge mess inside of uh, this very expensive hyper yeah so we got the bags that's why we got the bags it looks a little funny but it works the heat change from pulling this like having the film on the windshield to just having it partially off like this is massive and that's why we tint windshields because the amount of UV and heat that you're blocking from doing your windshield in your vehicle is immense. I'm already getting toasty in here now. Smaller. What they say is if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. This is a tricky windshield. Very. It has a very tight gasket. And since it was already tinted, it also makes it even more tricky. We're going to have to start this completely over there. Yep. Okay, completely out. How's attempt number two? Success. We got it. So the first pattern that we put in here was a little tight in these gaskets. Obviously this is the first Bugatti Chiron we've tinted. And so the gaskets were a little tight in it and didn't fit. So we pulled it out. Round two looks good though. Supercharged Silverado, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> that supercharged Silverado made a real tornadoes behind the air. How am I supposed to move furniture around? Okay, bye. Okay. So we've got our boy Dave Kendig over at Kendig Designs, Ferrari 458 behind us. Um, he ended up buying this car out of New York somewhere and the paint protection was already done, but it definitely has a bit of a yellowing to it. It's not as nice as the film that we use. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this all, make sure that we can get all these edges wrapped, which they didn't do a good job on. 
make the mirrors look better. And then this roof wrap is faded out. Doesn't look good. We're gonna use a product by Aztec and we're gonna wrap it in gloss black. It's eight mil paint protection film, um, but it really actually ends up looking like real jet black paint like that McLaren over there. So, boys will be getting this thing pulled apart. He actually had a cabinet fall down on him right here in his garage and it dented the hood, but our dent guy was able to get that removed completely, but it did damage the paint protection, so that's another reason why we're redoing it. And we'll get this thing cleaned back up so we can go rip it around. had Dave Kindig's Ferrari 458. Did a little bit of refinishing for him. Um, when it came in initially, the roof was wrapped in a satin black. It was supposed to be a gloss black film, but it had failed dramatically. So we ended up adding the S-Tech 10 year warranty paint protection film to the top. We uh, added the vinyl to the side skirts and then we redid the whole front end. It was a little bit yellowed, the paint protection was. So we went ahead and removed all the paint protection that was on the vehicle and redid that and kind of just a little refinishing for it. It turned out awesome. And here's the man himself. Hi, I'm Dave Kindig and I've been overhauled. Woo! Oh, really? There it is. <laughs> hey, man. How are you? That looks awesome. I'm doing really good now. Dude, it's crazy to see the difference in that front end because it was super yellow. Uh-huh. Like, it's crazy how much of the color went away that was actually in the front. But... It's like a brand new car. So man, what do you I think about it. this paint I love protection that. film? You know what? This can, you believe, is... can you believe that's an actual <laughs> paint protection, eight mil thick, 10 year warranty. No kidding. How much paint do you know has a 10 year warranty when you buy it and spray it? Well, my warranty is only 20 feet in 20 seconds. Yeah, so see, and those are the type of warranties I'd warranty. like to offer people. <laughs> Can you believe though that's well, just compared their vinyl? To, honestly, what was on there, so I bought the car, it was six years old and it was in perfect condition, but they had wrapped the roof and it looked like, it wasn't flat and it wasn't glossy. It was like some vague, ugly finish between the two. Right. And I was always very disappointed. It wouldn't clean, scratched real easy. This looks like paint. I mean, honestly, it just, it looks sharp. It looks crisp. It really ties in nice with the black and white theme with the wheels. It's incredible to see what these products have actually done. Same with the front end. And it's a good thing the front end was already protected. Right. Because we don't have any rock chips. We don't have any significant damage. We just had some film that had the rock chips in it. We were able to remove that. Looks put some so new on. Good. And now she's ready to cruise. I am uh, so ready to well, cruise. I appreciate it. you letting us do this. Hey, man, it's my pleasure. Thanks, you, man, guys, you guys always do a great job for me. You guys went well above and beyond because that roof, I know that had to have been a pain in the ass. And uh, you guys, I mean, that looks flawless. And that's where I, you know, I build stuff yeah. too. And well, I've looked up to you for 20 years. Yeah, well, I've been looking up to you guys for, well, at least 10. <laughs> so, yeah, well, thanks, great man. job, man. Good job. Go to Envision, you get good stuff. Later.